always want to know, how did you become a Mouseketeer and what was it like? Um, while I don't remember what happened to those early auditions, I remember there were a lot of them, six, in fact, over the course of nearly a year. And when I got to the final callback, I remember my mother saying, we are so proud of you. You have already won by making it this far. But I knew it wasn't enough. I also knew my mother didn't have the killer instinct for show business. And I was gonna have to take charge of this escapade. So I did what we'd all do. I took my own pink boa to the audition and I sang the 11 o'clock number for my third grade school play with key change and second ending. That's no way to treat a ladybug. Calm down, I'm not gonna sing it tonight. I got the call while I was standing on a stool stirring macaroni and cheese. I was over the moon and my parents were somewhere between dumbfounded and horrified. Nevertheless, we packed our bags and headed to the city of dreams, Orlando. <laughs> we went to school on set in the morning and rehearsed and taped the show in the afternoon. And this routine went on for six years. Fortunately, the Disney Channel was gracious enough to employ an on-set shrink, Dr. Barbara Birnbaum, to help us work through any issues we were having with our anything but normal childhood. So I'd like to raise a glass to Dr. Barbara. I turned out just fine. <laughs> a dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. In dreams you will lose your heartache. Whatever you wish for, you keep. Have faith in your dreams, and someday your rainbow will come smiling through. No matter how your heart is grieving, if you keep on believing, the dream that you wish will come true. Mm. Cinderella. <laughs> what a doll. Every Disney princess has her song, and Disney's so great about representing every ethnicity, right? We've got Mulan, Pocahontas, Tiana. But these girls all had one thing in common. Waistline so small they couldn't possibly contain functioning organs. <laughs> Except for poor Ariel. She's a little bottom heavy. <laughs> and she has crabs. The Little Mermaid came out when I was 12 and I thought Ariel was everything. At the time I had a poster of the New York City skyline hidden and taped to the wall in my closet. My mother was so deathly afraid that I would eventually move there one day, that place. She wouldn't let me hang, out on the, hang it on the wall. I had to look at it in my closet. But it was, it was my dream to live there. And I would hole up in my closet and stare at that skyline and think, how could a world filled with such wonderful things be bad? I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing, walking around on those, what do you call them? Feet. Flipping your fins, you don't get too far. Legs are required for jumping, dancing, strolling along down a, what's that word again? Street. Up where they walk, up where they run. Up where they stay all day in the sun Wandering free Wish I could be Part of that world What would I give If I could live out of these waters What would I pay To spend a day warm on 
bright young women, sick of swimming, ready to stand. And I'm ready to know what the people know. Ask them my questions and get some answers. What's a fire and why does it, what's the word, burn? Thank you.